For the past month, a CSIRO research vessel has been probing changes in the waters off eastern Australia. The RV investigator has docked in Brisbane after travelling from Hobart, and tonight we can tell you what they've learnt. It's been described as the scientific Swiss Army knife of ships, capable of conducting biological, oceanographic, geological and atmospheric research for 300 days a year. The 94 metre research vessel has just finished a 27 day voyage from Hobart to Brisbane. Its mission to gather data and research the wider impacts of a warmer and stronger East Australian current on marine life and the way our oceans work. It's a super important current because it keeps, uh, it keeps the east coast of Australia warm um, and acts as, as a highway not just for heat but for fish. The ship recovered and reset six moorings which have instruments to monitor salinity, flow rate and temperature. Scientists say it's getting warmer and is causing significant changes to biodiversity in southern waters, which are heating three to four times the global average. Most people know the East Australian current from the film Finding Nemo. Warming waters can impact rain events far into inland Australia and can cause significant long-term changes to biodiversity. My colleague said that he thought he'd be a grandfather before he saw these changes, but they're happening right in front of our eyes. It's bringing tropical species that are generally plant eaters further south, and these species are eating down those uh, precious marine environments and changing them. Jellyfish populations and habitats, including slow-moving oceanic whirlpools, were also researched. We've always been focusing on what the jellyfish eat, and there's been very little research done on what's actually eating the jellyfish. And what we're discovering is that the jellyfish are a really important food source for a lot of other animals. And we always think of nursery grounds as being in seagrass beds and in mangroves, which they are. But we haven't really taken on board that offshore there are these nursery grounds for herring and mackerel and anchovy. The RV investigator will leave Brisbane for Darwin next week. Baz Ruddick, ABC News, Brisbane.